What's up guys, this is Nick with Tent Depot, Plotter Depot. Today I'm here with our workhorse too, and we are going to go over stand assembly. Let's get to it. All right guys, so this is how I have everything laid out. Um, I have the left part of the stand over here on my left and the right part in front of me, as well as my crossbar here. Now, I'm gonna show you this guy first because you can see that it's got a little bit of a bow in it. Uh, it also has these pre-drilled holes. Now there are two that are closer together and two that are spaced further apart. The closer together ones are going to go to the back of the machine. So for the purpose of this video, everything's going to be oriented with the Workhorse 2 logo ending up closest to you. So the bow for this guy is going to go closest to you. Now we're gonna hop into here. We have our leg and our foot. You can see that the pre-drilled holes here are also spaced according to the crossbar. These are gonna go in the back as well as the long part of the foot going to the back. And that's just gonna go right in there like so. Then we'll move over here where I have my media rollers and my basket holders that's going to attach into this bracket here that's also going to be in the back of the machine as well as uh, your arms over here you can see some more pre-drills uh, the longer piece also oriented towards the back and then you can see over here we've got our media rollers our basket holders our workhorse and i got my little box of goodies all the fasteners that come with it uh, there is going to be an allen wrench that comes with this that you can use we've gone ahead and set up our drill here speed things up a little bit and you're going to need to find yourself the little head screwdriver so let's start putting this thing together so we're going to get started with our leg and our feet you want to make sure again that you have the closer spaced together pre-drills oriented towards the back of the machine so it's going to go on your foot like that long part's going to go in the back I'm just going to flip this fella upside down here Get some of our bolts and start piecing this thing together. All right, now that we got that guy done, we are going to come right over here to the left side of the machine and do the same exact thing. Next part, I have a cross beam here and I have my left leg. Uh, you can see that the long part of the leg oriented towards the back of the machine. Um, again, we have the closer space pre-drills right here going towards the back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and preload bolts down in each one of these pockets like so. Um, they might not go all the way through. You can just reach in there, give each one of them a little nudge, or at least get one of them kind of poking through. So you can just kind of try to get this guy on here. It's going to be a little awkward. You got those big long pieces, but uh, just kind of work with it and you'll get it in there. We are just gonna roll over here. Do the same thing on the other side. Now that you've reached this point, it's gonna be pretty easy to make sure everything goes smoothly.
can see here, I uh, broke off one of these little cap covers. Uh, I know this guy is a little bit beat up. We have been putting him to use for a long time now. But those guys are just gonna pop right in there if you actually, like so. So now we're done with this. Set that guy over there. Moving on to the Phillips head and associated screws. Grab another one of these four fellas and we're gonna go ahead and throw on our bracket. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Just line it up on there. So I have my bracket on here. You can see that we have the long part in the back. This is where your media rollers are going to mount. Well, this is what your film's gonna sit on so that it can feed up through the machine towards the front down to the basket when you're cutting. This is just gonna mount on with four of these Phillips head screws that you have. Again, they oriented this with the closer and further spacing. So it's pretty easy to figure out which way these fellas go. So we're gonna pop over to the other side, do the same thing. So you have your little lit, that's gonna go on top. Again, the long side is gonna go towards the back so that you can put your media rollers on it. Now that we have our brackets on, we're gonna go ahead and move to our arms. I want you to check this guy out here. You're gonna have this longer bit behind the pre-drilled holes. It's gonna be going towards the back. Uh, this is what your basket is going to sit on. You can see it has this little D shape to it right here. You wanna make sure that's facing inwards so that when you do add your basket, I'll show you real quick, it's gonna pop down in like so. So make that little D down on the bottom facing in. Now we're gonna jump over to the other side, do the same thing. So again, long part going towards the back, D's facing on the inside. All right guys, when you're doing this right side over here, this front screw, I'm gonna leave a little bit loose. This is what we're going to use to put one of our connectors on once we get the potter up on it, which we are gonna do right now. When you're picking this thing up, please do not pick it up from up here. Please pick it up from the bottom. You do not want to bend any of these components that you have in here. You're gonna have this little grounding wire that's hanging out down here. The eyelet is going to go on this back bolt and then the open eye is going to go up on this front bolt. These nuts come in this nice little housing. I'm just going to hand tighten these. If you are putting this bad boy in a van or a trailer, I would probably pop these out of here and uh, get a wrench on it, get a little tighter. Next thing we're gonna do is put our media bars here on the back of our brackets. These little guys, I'm gonna show it for you up close you can see that they have these grooves in it and you have the rounded area and that notch i don't really know a great way to show you how to put this in here honestly you are just going to have to monkey with it a little bit
We are almost done. The last step here, you're just going to take your basket arms. Slide them in just like you would a curtain rod. Throw this guy on the back. That's gonna wrap up stand assembly on the workhorse too. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope it was fairly easy to follow along. Uh, we've got a lot more content coming to you on these guys. I'll see you on the next one.